So, so when I saw the videos of the before shots, the after shots, and one particularly just melted my heart was we were in the process of finalizing drilling the well. And when you finish drilling the well, you air blow it so that you clean the well out, you get, you get rid of the dirt and stuff that's been accumulated while you're drilling the well. And you air blow it so that you clean it up and you develop the well so that you're going to have a good source of water for a long time. And the picture was three, two little boys and the water shoots up out of the drill rig into the air and cascades down. And these two little boys are dancing and smiling and having the time of their life as they're being completely covered with water coming from the well. And then we have the pictures of what the after, which is the people coming and filling their buckets, their whatever there is that they're using to get the water. And lo and behold, guess what happened? People started coming from other villages that were a shorter walking distance or maybe even longer because they could come and get clean water. So I, I felt, I felt, wow, <laughs> how can, how can you, uh, how can you beat taking people who are deprived of the, one of the most basic things in the world that we need to survive on and, and, and give it to them and see the reaction. And I think the last count I had was we've drilled, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere over 500 wells. And that each one of those wells serves two, three, four thousand people. That's a lot of people we have helped. And but the need is still there. The need is everywhere. In, you know, and not just in Africa, but that's where we we, we went to start this program in today. But there's lots of places in South America, and around the world. And when when Angie asked me to make this video and to explain my story. Uh, there's a couple things that I want to put in here. This, this has dramatically impacted thousands of people's lives. And all in the name of Jesus. The, the, the water didn't come from water for kids or hope for kids. The water came from Jesus. We are serving, we are set here to serve. And, and we are serving desperate people with no hope and making their lives immeasurably better. And, and while we're doing it, it's not a deal about how good we are, it's a deal about how great Jesus' love for everybody is. And this is just a, in my mind, a phenomenal way of serving Christ. We want this message to get out to people that they can serve and make dramatic changes as Water for Kids continues to grow and continues to operate.